Sleeping on the street is common in Freetown because of the prevalence of homelessness and shortage of housing in the city. Mostly young people lose their hopes in the face of their lives without skills and therefore depend on the various untrained means to survive, ranging from scavenging to prostitution. The monthly cleaning ordered by the president, retired Brigadier Julius Madabu, has just ended and in the King Tom Dom site in Central Freetown, scavengers are unhappy. They complain that unwanted materials and rubbles have been dumped on the places where they sleep. The poor management of waste dump here is disturbing us. The rubbles are spread from here, where we sleep, down to the market. This dump site is our home. Gangsters now the street trust the crest for all them all equal. Old puppets still they buy them, no, 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 get no vehicle. I call the politician in front of the signal. Now we did gang, now nobody survived. But we don't see this is where we hustle for our daily bread. We don't make much. When there is an increase on the number of trucks in the dump site to empty waste. This social work student from Fabi College visits the King Tom Dom site to get a feel of the condition of inhabitants. And when she caught up with Daniel Max Kamala, the chairperson of the scavengers, he explained the constraint they go through to fend their daily bread on the debts. We find different items here. Some people even dig the rubbles to search for items used by our forefathers. We also have women and children here. They don't have homes, so they are here looking out for a survivor. This is our home. Very, 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 very difficult for people in here. But you don't see no book, no more men. You don't know that you are learning an old land book. I know my red gag. If I don't die, my papa don't die. Those who are so, those all my people are living. No, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. 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 I am called Chill Lady. We are suffering. We don't have homes. We depend on the waste here to feed our children. Some ladies resort to prostitution when they cannot make much here during the day. Many of them are raped and maltreated by their customers. Who is stressing them? They're wondering. He's illegal. Even the pastor get off the waist. He's the evil. I figured this ever since. The system is devilish. Get a you still a... She is the child lady of the scavengers in the King Tom Dom site. The ordeals she narrated of commercial sex workers who live among them is not different from what these ladies encounter in other parts of this prevalent city of homelessness. Yeah, I would it snap I'll get some rare boy there with a car of fan we no more necessary when we somebody pass again. There are guys who disrespect us when they meet us and standing the police the money we too much now nigga that money. Bulk of the challenges we face are from the police who financially exploit us. When we cannot meet their financial demands, they request for sex. Now would you about the pan money pay issue? I make men a wolf not good and the rights for file and send we go court. When we receive reports of that nature or if we hear people say about it, say things about it, when we have a normal parade, where we call it monster parade or whatever tattoo parade, we always 
speak to our officers, we tell them, I mean, they are not supposed to be engaged in anything that is inimical to state security. They are not supposed to be doing anything that will bring disrepute to the force. That's we give them generic and warning and generic information. But the fact remains, we will not tell them we are told ABC because those ones are allegations. If somebody has, if somebody has the the hard facts, then we come up with those facts. Then we are going to work on them because we have the complete discipline and internal investigations department, CDID. Their responsibility is to look into issues relating to conduct of police officers. They say we no go win, we no get inside the game. Salomon no go prosper. We don't feel we say food. I say you say we lost, man. Our cup runneth over, but we suffer. Salomon we get blessing, but we been suffer. Another set of people mostly found sleeping on the street in Freetown are persons with disability. I don't take you out near ten years on the street. I have spent over 10 years living in this street. I don't have a shelter to cover my family and I do in the rains. We are suffering in the street and we are asking humanitarian organizations to help us. Now our living street is very hard for me. We do the same more. We are suffering. We need to send our children to school. That is our hope from this trouble. But we cannot. Since we don't have a home to stay, they don't have a place to study. You know that unless sometimes my material feeling in there, somebody will go big, he can't help we. Presently, I think you can see this is the time that we're trying to cook. And we're able to get somebody to support we. I think this all really happened to us. We're suffering in other place here, yeah, really. I am a mother of three kids. I came to Freetown with my kids when my husband died during the Ebola outbreak. And since we came, we have been living in the streets. As you see, we don't have a pot to cook. A neighbor gave us this pan to cook this meat that was given to us. So this is a and this net. So I make a steamer for tomorrow Saturday. For me to be clean. Hold on, steamer. So I left an idea outside the steeple. After cooking, I will have to beg a shopkeeper out around here to keep the meat for us in order for it not to be stolen. We are also homeless. We survive by helping to push the wheelchair of handicapped persons. I wouldn't want to be a prayer with a Christian. Reverend Father Peter Conte, a humanitarian and a development practitioner, attributed the prevalence of homelessness in Freetown to the unrealistic dream of urbanization among Sierra Leoneans. While most humanitarians call on state authorities to construct homes for deprived persons, Reverend Father Peter Conte says these impoverished persons require beyond housing. We want to address the issue of homelessness. People are migrating into urban cities. It's not an issue as a solution to just provide housing. Housing could be one, but it's an issue in which we have to attract the many young, young guys who are not trained, who are not skilled, who are in the city that could be productive in the rural area. The tower is small, and we can't sell. When I was a boy, I was sent to Ark on the street, and since I came, I have not returned home. So if you get the cause, I'm not going to house again. I have been a laborer here. I'm from the diamond city, don't even test cause you never gonna be made I'm so fly and the sky is my limit, so uh, if you jam was in money for a reason Go come look with y'all them bad panic game left and south full of foul Then they say boxer, I saw me dance You know too small, and I don't have to I'm not a fish food And they send this message I want you watching this video to know that we are not happy to live on the street 
at trouble. We must consider the history and medical business is very strengthful. So there, to so anybody, any big person of our government or you, Mr. President Marabia. We are appealing to President Marabia to get us out of this life. For say, we would don't have to we should see the clean and then both there and ferry to the fact for no girl living. The fact speaks for itself. Development would seem to have gravitated so much to the center that we have left the countryside almost abandoned and neglected. So because you have to come to the city center to find good schools, to, to get uh, Medicare, to get recreational facilities, to get job opportunities, people see, I mean, the reason for migration. But I think it's very important. Now that we are talking about decentralization, um, lip service should not be paid to that. I mean, this has to be followed up. The policy and, and statutory prescriptions have to be followed up with affirmative action. So the new direction is looking at decentralization as one critical model and critical tool to development. And so you could look at government support to local councils to make sure that local councils be the drivers of, of, of decentralization and taking development to underserved and unserved areas. So whilst someone may want to castigate people for migrating from the provincial areas to the city center, my advice is, hey, have a proper evaluation of the issues. Most of those issues have been very leg legitimate issues. Let's look at the issue of the war. Sierra Leone had the war from 1991 to 2001. That was sufficient reason because of the mayhem, most of which was um, perpetrated on the countryside. People thought that Freetown was a safe haven. We know that after the war, a lot of things had happened in Sierra Leone. People who came from up the provinces for greener pastures have seen the city as a better place to stay. And most of them, because they cannot absorb themselves, they, we find a lot of them on the streets, trying to find their own living. And these numbers are becoming increasingly large, which has become a concern, not only to government, but to all other aid agencies. The whole issue is not just for kids. We even find bigger people who are caught in this quagmire. So, uh, for them, they have seen it as a source of income to stay on the street because they know what they are getting. But when you really look at what, it, what it's all about, that's not a very good life. Something has to be done to cater for those people so that at the end of it all, their living conditions will be improved upon. There is a reduction in the number of children on the street. Many citizens wonder if this is as a result of the pronouncement of the president for the free but compulsory education. Like some of them picking and they wouldn't be in our streets, they not say them elect for the streets. But because of the no girl, they won't go to school. Most kids were on the streets laboring to raise their school fees. But since the president has pronounced free education, they have all gone to school. Now all picking for go school. So then they don't decide now for left the street to them for let themselves go to school. So now they all go to school. Like for me, I know say for that comrade for but me. As a mother, I am happy that the kids that were helping us in the markets are no more. So now I'm glad you all to go to school now. We thank the government for the free quality school education, which has got the kids that we are disturbing in the market out of the street. All I see is gunshot, skull crack, body chop, light a flash, police, police. Good boys are clash cops, witness my kids in the streets. So I feel grow with all these relapse and flashbacks. Pandemic like a snapback. Another one man and another one gone. Get a life struggling, don't speak around them. Tell me, say, after a storm, it's a calm. Now I need to have a youth one, one firearm. Then cops cut them down like when Gyad and Moolan. Yeah. Left them in the deep end with nothing to hold on. Politics, politics, white lies and promises. Some are selling them soul for vanities. Mama can't afford the tuition. Be the colleges. 